Sudden news! A new show appears. It's super effective. I am SSF. Bye. Pull my finger, please. Please? No? Screw you. I was polite. Ugh. Live from the magnificent state of Virginia, here's your host, the news dude of Sonic Paradox, Sonic Sega Fan 1991. And there we are. Hello to everyone in Sonic Land. It's, well, and, uh, Sonic Paradox 2. That would probably help if I would mention the side I'm broadcasting from. Uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm, I've had a long day. Uh, welcome to the Sonic News Show, the goodness knows what episode number this is. Probably, I wouldn't be surprised if it's past 100 now. Maybe, don't know, but, uh, after hearing the intro that is probably a year and a half old, Welcome to the show, and of course, there would be, um, the first Sonic news show that's happened since Summer of Sonic, that convention that everyone went to, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, about that, that's gonna be a big topic, but first things first, I do believe I have a guest here, and the long list of guests I've had in probably the last four or five months, it's only fitting that the very man who helps run the yearly annual Sonic Marathons, week-long Sonic Marathons for charity, the, mo the, the, mo the thing that uh, everyone notes from uh, Respawn Point, Zach's here. Oh god, I think you've built me up too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tend to give people nice entrance, so... It, it, it worked. It felt nice. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Of course, those of you who have actually seen the Sonic Marathons on Respawn Point that uh, take place for Child's Play, uh, you guys may have actually seen me last year uh, for Sonic Marathon 2. I actually did play some uh, multiplayer uh, with the guys there. I was uh, playing, coincidentally, All-Stars Racing because my sucky-ass gameplay prior to the show was not enough, you know, as it is, but uh, yeah, I did actually play some All Stars Racing multiplayer with the guys at Respawn Point uh, last year, last holiday season. Fun times. Oh yes, I do believe there uh, might may very well be more All Stars Racing gameplay later this year. Don't know for sure. It depends on what uh, they get the uh, game on, like what platform. Um, oh, there'll be plenty of All Stars Racing. Everyone loves All Stars Racing. Yeah, and of course, if you guys are well aware, I don't know for sure, but I guess you may as well confirm it if those who aren't aware, is there going to be a third Sonic Marathon? Yes, if only so I can call it Sonic Marathon Free and Knuckles. Um, <laughs> it exists just for that pun, not for the whole charity aspect and the helping the children. I just, Sonic Marathon Free and Knuckles. Sonic Marathon 3 and Shuckles, someone mentioned in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> was that Johnny, by any chance? Yes. Yes, yes it was. Sonic I hate that guy. <laughs> Sonic Marathon 3 and Shuckles. Oh, man. But I do I do believe, uh, last I heard, the uh, site was actually in the works of being uh, redone uh, for this year. Yes, um, I'm currently about halfway done getting the site already. That should be up by the end of the month, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's at least you're doing that now. It's like, it, it's better than doing this, doing this now than doing this like a few months later when you're really, really low on time and you're like, having to get everyone together and get all the games together and it's like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah. There's at least enough room to, uh, <laughs> Get ready now, I suppose. Yeah, and I, I I do believe like this is probably the earliest you're promoting it, isn't it? 
Like, yeah, um, we usually start promoting about two months beforehand. Uh, yeah, it, it might actually help. You never know. I mean, people will know the marathon's coming up, and of course, the exact dates are not going to be known for a while. But hey, they'll at least know that odds are during the holiday season they have another Sonic marathon to look forward to. I think we have the dates actually. Really? Probably. Yeah, um, 28th of December, I think, is when we're deciding to start it up this year, but... Oh, wow. That may, that may slip back a day or two, but I'm thinking 28th is probably dead on the money. Wow. You guys heard it here first, then. <laughs> Desert... A little exclusive that no one cares about. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair... Sites, a lot of the sites do like uh, promoting your marathon. I noticed, uh, I know TSSC promoted it. I think uh, Sonic Stadium promoted it, and Sonic Rex promoted it. In fact, I think it was because of them promoting it that I found out about uh, Sonic Marathon. Like, it's that promotion that really tips me off. Yeah, um, we have a lot of <laughs> fan sites to thank for uh, spreading the word about this because otherwise we'd have just been staring at an empty chat room for seven days. It, it's the only narrative that I can think of that I can recall that really compares to it is the Mario Marathon that uh, I know is done uh, like, I think it was done like last month. But honestly when I, I saw the Mario Marathon it's like I just wasn't enjoying it. Like, it just didn't feel like the Sonic Marathon. It's like, I can enjoy the Sonic Marathon. I can get involved in it. But the Mario Marathon, it's like, ugh. You know, it just felt most of the, They were just being cheesy, you know. It, at least they did do it for charity themselves, you know. I'll give them credit for that. If It's not about, you know, me. It's about the charity. But, ugh. The marathon, different things for different people, I suppose. Yeah. They do fantastic work, and they're insanely popular, so. Yeah. I They're know, doing something, right? Yeah, I, I think they actually raised like $100,000, I think, this year. Um, yeah, it was... It was a lot of money. They deserve props for that, if anything. Yeah. I mean, I, I, like I said, I would consider the Sonic Marathon better, namely because, you know, it's you guys are much better personalities, and, you know, you guys actually get right to the games. Like, they spent like 10 minutes just actually starting the marathon. You know, like, they had to do this big, big intro, like, animated and everything. You guys go right into it, you know, which is the whole point, you know, just getting right to the fun, which I do enjoy. Like, it does draw people in, you know. What's well, not to enjoy about uh, Silver's ball puzzle in Sonic 06? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That game no one thinks exists, but kind of does. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> Yeah. I, I I do believe, like, when you guys played Zero Gravity last year, uh, I recall, like, the cables acting up on my end, so I don't believe I was able to uh, play uh, Sonic, Zero, uh, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity multiplayer with you guys. It was either that or I dozed off. I, I can't recall. But uh, <gasps> I wholeheartedly intend, now that I have wireless Wii internet, you know, I should be able to play... Uh, zero gravity with no issues because like I said I don't have to deal with uh, cables anymore that's actually one of the games I haven't played I've never had the chance to play that on stream really? no it's over there in the pile of Sonic games that there is actually a pile of Sonic games over there <laughs> but oh. I haven't played it myself oh you know what's going to be fun in the marathon well what's that? you know what's going to be fun in the marathon to do? Sonic 4 Episode 2 Co-op. Ah, uh, yes. I am actually... Uh, I should have a better connection <laughs> by that point, so hopefully that will be doable. Um, think... We've tried co-op before, and it's lagged a bit in that game. I do recall playing co-op with the Disco Ponies uh, not too long ago. I think it was like last month or the month before that. Uh, I didn't do bad... Well. I didn't do bad all kind of a lie, but I do have all the emeralds, so it, even if I did like get in, like even if we did play co-op and during the marathon, I get the feeling you wouldn't have to worry about the emeralds. So 
That, that's always a plus. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm all for doing co-op for Sonic 4 Episode 2. Hells yeah, hopefully we can uh, set that up then. Like I said, I do have a team speak, so we can use that. Ah, uh, team speak is godlike. The best voice communication software ever. Sorry, Skype. Yeah. <laughs> the, the main reason why, for those who are wondering, we're using Skype is because, well, Skype's Skype. Uh, <laughs> te- if I, uh, I, the thing about TeamSpeak is I still got to get used to the software, you know, work things out, but I, I think I have it nailed down as exactly how to talk, you know. I know my mic works in it and works very clearly, it's just clearly a Skype, so. Um, I just have to make sure I remember, hey, I have to push a button to talk. <laughs> You can actually change that in the options, but... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go look at that right after the show, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh god, I better go do that then. <laughs> but yeah, I totally want to do co-op in some form episode 2. Hopefully I can redeem myself this time after... like. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we're open to all forms of Sonic 4 episode 2 co-op, if only so we can get that uh, Plays Tales achievement. Yeah. Is there anyone I'm missing? Yeah, I don't have that one either, like, for some reason. Probably because I'm not playing... I've only really played co-op once on 360, and that was with, uh, like I said, the JK Disco Ponies of the Sonic Show, so... Yeah. Which Fun I sucked on. times. Yeah. I wonder why da- uh, Damn Hedge is asking, uh... Help me and Cola with Minecraft? Uh, depends on which platform Minecraft is, PC or 360. Uh... I have both, just saying, but... Um, yeah, probably wise to get on with the show. <laughs> We're too busy reminiscing of Sonic Marathon 2. Who can blame us? Everyone can blame us. This is why we should stop doing it, I suppose. Yeah. It's like, I haven't really, like... I, I wouldn't consider myself part of, you know, Respawn Point, considering, you know, I'm not actually there to, you know, there with you guys. You know, in spirit, maybe, but... <laughs> but it seems like I've become like the obligatory or the unofficial self-proclaimed uh, multiplayer guy <laughs> <laughs> at least at least we're st- we still have each other on a Xbox Live so true that we'll have to get some games in at some point yeah but yeah may as well get on with the show I mean as much as we want to reminisce about Sonic Marathon 2 we do have a show to do. <laughs> uh, nevertheless, it's what I was mentioning earlier, Summer of Sonic. That kind of took place. Everyone had fun. Moving on now. Uh, <laughs> there's there's a lot to talk about with Summer of Sonic. You know, namely that, uh, well, there's a All-Stars Racing Transformed announcement that's going to follow in a bit. But Summer of Sonic and Son of Boom took place uh, lots to talk about but so much so I don't think I can fit it in just this show I may have to just make a full blown video just for Summer Sonic and Sonic Boom more so Summer Sonic but Sonic Boom I think is more so worthy of talking about since it was more recent you know it was also it had more like big announcements you know We'll see, but uh, Tom Boom. Apparently, it sold 800 overall tickets. Uh, yeah, I don't. Fairly know. impressive. Yeah, I, I I don't know what to make of it. Like, I want to feel like it was. I think it was an imp- an improvement from last year, but like, I don't know if it was a uh, like enough to compare it to Summer Sonic yet. I think Summer of Sonic went through uh, 700 tickets and they were gone within minutes, so... Yeah. Like, I think they had... I, from what I call it, it was like Summer... Uh, uh, 755. Uh, so Sonic Boom did sell more tickets, but that was mostly because those got sold over time, and with Summer Sonic, they were sold instantly, so... 800 is still nothing to scoff at, though. Yeah, pretty it, impressive. Yeah, it, it's impressive. It's just 800 tickets sold slowly in comparison to 800 tickets sold within minutes. You know, 
it's who knows but yeah I, I I definitely consider Sonic Boom a great like it's definitely an improvement from last year like a vast improvement but I still don't think it's enough to consider it a good competitor to Summer Sonic like I think Summer Sonic is still blowing Sonic Boom out of the water but I mean they'll get there eventually yeah if it, if it keeps up this trend yeah it'll definitely be there like Next year, if they do a Sonic Boom 2013, I think they could, you know. Sonic Boom, I think, had a stream. I think Sonic Radio streamed it. But I don't recall them advertising it, so as far as I know. But, uh, yeah. As for Sonic Boom, briefly touching away from that to talk about the one announce big announcement that actually took place at Summer Sonic this year... All Stars Racing Transformed. Knights and Rila was confirmed for it. That that was pretty cool. Th those who actually saw my stream for Summer Sonic, the Summer Sonic coverage, when the announcement came about, people really just heard me say, "Holy shit!" for like a billion, like <laughs> for like ten, fifteen minutes straight. It's like, oh my god, I did not see that coming. You're a fan, then, I take it. Not just a fan, but someone who is easily shocked at shit. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I think they'll do... I, it was even more shocking to find out that they are actually in vehicle form. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting take on it. Yeah. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Don't know about everyone else, but... <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I, I could see so much potential. So much potential. But, uh, I think what was even more interesting, or well, not even more interesting, but just as interesting, was that there was another trailer that came out not too long afterwards that contained, and there was also the release date and the box art. Uh, box art, I like. Trailer, I like. Release date, turkeys. Um, <laughs> I say that because, excuse me, I say that because the release date is really just a few days before Thanksgiving in the U.S. Ah, um, we don't have that over here, um, <laughs> so forgive my ignorance. Um, when's yeah, Thanksgiving? You, Thanksgiving is the fourth Thursday in November, so November 20th, that's literally three days before the fourth Thursday in November, so literally three days before U.S. is Thanksgiving. Right. Doesn't it release in Transformed? Uh, release in Europe a couple of days earlier? I yeah. Think I... Yeah, the sixteenth. Ah. So you. Lucky... Well, I'm I'm happy with that then. Yeah, you lucky bastards get the game four days early. <laughs> I'll make the first of that uh, four days training. Oh God, I'm so screwed. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be so screwed when I, we play in Marathon Three. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I have been doomed to hell, and I haven't even gotten the game yet. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be, uh, yeah. Trust me, that that four days practice will stretch out to be a lot, especially when we uh, jump into the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah. Jay-Z <laughs> says that will be four days of me kicking your arse. Oh, oh. Jay-Z is full of himself, methinks. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's going. I I I'm really looking forward to the game. Like it seems to me like it's going to be a vast improvement from All Stars Racing One. Oh, the demo I played at Summer of Sonic was that game is going to be fantastic. Yeah, so long as I can mute Danica Patrick in the game, I'll be happy. SSF. Uh, oh man, I don't understand why they did that at all. I, I don't understand why either. I, I, I guess because we're Sonic heroes. Who knows? <laughs> For all I know, they... they it, I'm really hoping they whore out uh, Ralph more than uh, Danica Patrick. And I'll get to Ralph later on, uh, for those who are wondering. But, um, yeah. Uh, also, apparently... This is interesting. For those who are curious... And this actually might help uh, 
the marathon more because you won't have to change a console so much. But uh, all uh, Sonic Adventure 2 has been finally at last. It's been take. It's taken like two months for Sega to announce something we've already known. But <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 is finally been announced as being ported over to Xbox Live and PSN. About time, Sega. <laughs> Yeah, um, that wasn't exactly the biggest secret they had. <laughs> yeah, and they did rub it in too. Did you see the uh, video where someone uploaded their uh, camera of the uh, trailer when it came out? Oh yes, yes, that was a that was quite a cute trailer actually. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that was. And the crowd in that video, it, man, how that... long can you get over a re-release? <laughs> That was bar none the most wild crowd I've ever seen for a Sonic trailer. That was insane. Like yeah. even that Adventure Two is obviously a fan favorite. The the only crowd like the only crowd reaction I've heard that compares to that isn't even Sonic related. It was the Zelda trailer, uh, the Zelda reveal trailer at E3, uh, like eight five years ago or something like that. Eight years ago. <laughs> God, that feels like it. I, I still cannot believe uh, E3 E3 is a month a month, uh, month gone now. Not like anyone cares because E3 sucked, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's I I do believe I should be getting like one hundred fifty dollars of Microsoft points, you know, very soon. So uh, bloody hell. Yeah, because I get one thing I have been getting like I get like fifty dollars to spend on either Steam or uh, Microsoft points so, you know, monthly so, I should be getting I think I might be getting $50 uh, for August, spending that on Microsoft points and then maybe I'll get like a big hundred because of uh, like, stuff in response to the big plan I had in switching over the Verizon Fios uh, one thing is we may be getting $500 I'm going to be getting like a hundred of that uh, so that's going to be going to Microsoft points. So I think I'm going to be covered. Uh, I'd hope so. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> how, ma how many Microsoft points do you need? Well, considering I'm going to be getting loads of uh, Avatar items and there's some games like Banjo-Tooie and Song of Adventure 2 and Nights in the Dreams, and which I m might mention that Nights in the Dreams has been confirmed to be on Xbox Live and PSN as well. Uh, Jet Set Radio... Gotham City Imposters, Peggle, like, loads of games. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the chat room can agree that E3 was really disappointing. <laughs> yeah. All together now. One, two, three. Fuck you, E3! Alright. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, E3 really was disappointing. But, uh... I will say this much. There have been worse... There have been worse E3s, I think. I think yeah, there... like those years it wasn't even happening. <laughs> yeah, and I think there was those years where they li very, like, extremely limited the, uh... Like... What was it? The, uh... Where they limited the uh, amount of people who could uh, go to the convention. Like, they changed the name and everything. Yeah, they were trying to downsize it for a few years there. Not quite sure why. <laughs> Goodness knows, but uh, apparently Jay Z just saying E3 is not as disappointing as Zach's uh, gaming skills, which are hilariously bad. I'm not quite sure I agree with that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's just going all out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it feels so funny like being in this much calmer show in comparison to the chaotic. All Stars Racing gameplay I was doing earlier with, with the Sonic community people, you know, Disco Ponies, Turbo, uh, Kevin Eva, um, and Sonic Show Live people, but yeah. <laughs> I sucked at during that gameplay, but anyway, uh, Jay Z says, I will go out on his, all out on his face, all night if I have to. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is this? I have no idea, but I get the feeling that it's all being targeted at you. And and now my hair is Medusa times ten or something. I don't know. This is 
<laughs> so, uh, that, uh, Sonic stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> um, I, I didn't, I, I keep forgetting that you're part of Respawn Point, Jay. I, I, I keep forgetting that. I'm, I, I usually, when I think of you, I think of you being part of Sega Sonic Radio for some reason. You know, and not Respawn Point. I don't know why. We but, stole uh, him away. We've locked him in the basement. <laughs> he has access to a Wi-Fi connection, sadly. Yeah, I if if it had occurred to me, like if it occurred to me, like oh wait, you're on Respawn Point too, too. I totally would have invited you into the call. <laughs> Technically, I kind of could still, but I don't know. I'm kind of late now, but I mean, it's up to all of like the three of us. I don't see why not, but. Considering we're already on topic, like, out of the ten topics we're doing in the show before the show ends, we're kind of already on three, so, you know, we're, like, we're a little ways away, and I don't know anymore. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> Screw the rules, we have podcasts. Yeah. I'm sure you guys will be interested in this. All the Sonic games on Steam are on sale. Oh, everything on Steam is on sale, pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty insane. Uh, yeah, Generations was uh, like seven pounds the other day, I think. So I imagine that would be like ten dollars for you American people. Yeah, it's about that. About nine ninety nine, I think. Like a lot of the game, like every, like I said, every Sonic game is on sale and. I, only Generations, I think, is over $10 right now. I recommend you pick him up. Sonic's pretty good. I don't know if you guys <laughs> have heard of this guy, but basically he's this blue hedgehog and he runs really fast. D doesn't he save the princess and grab mushrooms? Yeah, he he's, goes around breaking blocks and picking up coins. Yeah. And uh, he's got a little... Uh, Friends with two tails and has a green hat. Yeah. Well, Seems screw, legit. Well, screw you, Jay. I already had Generations the whole time, so I didn't need it for free. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> plus, it was I got it free anyway, because someone gifted it to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, I, I hope everyone does enjoy the Steam Summer Sale. I got, like, eight games out of it, so... Yeah. It was, uh... I, I, it, is it really a bad thing that I already have every Sonic game on Steam? No, it just means you're taking advantage of all the cool sales. You're saving money in the long run. Right? I guess we could go with that, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to help here. I know. I, I don't know whether I have been taking advantage of them with the sales or not. I don't know. <laughs> Considering I apparently am going to be having $150 to spend on shit, so... <laughs> <laughs> Goodness knows. Uh, now you can own them on Steam and Xbox. I kind of already do, except Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 is the only game I don't have on Xbox Live, and of course we know why. Uh, but yeah... Speaking of... Oh, oh w sorry, just one last thing on the oh. Sonic Adventure 2. Did they confirm if they were making it widescreen or anything? Or I don't remember. Apparently the only real thing they've confirmed is that I believe they're going to be including leaderboards, achievements, and potentially better graphics. Don't know. Um, right. But I get the feeling that it may be the battle version... Judging from the fact that one of the leaked screenshots was a uh, Shao Karate, so who knows? Um, yeah, those leaked screenshots were all in 16 by 9, so I'm hoping it's widescreen and it doesn't just have some border. But yeah, I guess we'll see. <laughs> JC's just saying he's spending, he spent that money on alcohol, so he wins in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Can't exactly disprove the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently alcohol is the answer to everything. 
But uh that forty two. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, I'll be all excited all day. Oh, screw me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, moving on before we continue turning into an, this and we t continue to turn this discussion into an alcohol thing. Uh, an alcohol party. Uh, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2. Apparently, that uh, made the top 20 PSN game sellers list in June. Surprisingly. Apparently, it's still selling. Not as much as it was in the previous month, but it's still selling. Huh. I don't know exactly what this will mean for, uh... I don't know exactly what this will mean for, uh... What was it? The, um... Uh, what this will mean for, uh... What was it? Oh, man, what was it? Uh... Oh, Sonic, uh, Sonic 4 Episode 3. That's right. Um, I don't know what it will mean for that, but apparently they did say if it sells well, it'll, you know, they're, they'll consider doing it, and seems like it's not doing too bad. Um, I guess we'll have to see. I, I think the huge gap between episode one and episode two kind of put people off, um, and oh god, people in your chat room are making a drinking game about me. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Well, it's, but in comparison to the uh, drinking game that happened with Rednox during the Summer Sonic stream I did. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like drinking games are quickly becoming a common thing in the uh, this specific stream now, so... Uh, what have I started? Um, I'm deeply afraid. Uh... <laughs> and Jay already has free notepad files of Zach Carrot drinking games, so. Oh god. I don't know what to make of this. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it either, and matter of fact, I think it's best if we just moved on and not thought about it. Uh, <laughs> Good segue. Yeah. Speaking of uh, segues, I guess. Uh, oh god, respawn point RPG. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Sonic cameo to take place in Wreck-It Ralph movie. Oh, I heard of this. That sounds pretty cool. Apparently, Eggman and Sonic are going to be making cameos in the game, which is completely and utterly uh, surprising, considering Bowser is going to be in the movie, but no one else. That's more you related. Oh yeah, I think the uh, uh, I'm not sure the name of the guy behind the film, but he was talking about how Nintendo wanted a lot of money for uh, anyone but Bowser. So yeah, Nintendo's really, really wanting money for this. I don't know. I I cannot believe that's how Nintendo's acting. It's like it, it's Nintendo. You know, it used to be if someone wanted to have Mario in a cameo, you know, Nintendo would be open for it all years, and, you know, they wouldn't care about the money. Now it's like, oh, hey, we, well, we're all for it, but we want this this so, so amount of money that's extremely overkill. Because we're, like, one of those companies that likes to get shit ton of money for every freaking, uh, console, you know. Yeah. That reminds me of the I whole direct really am wondering how much they had to pay out for just Bowser himself, really. It reminds me of the whole thing with, uh... What was it? The whole thing with, um... DirecTV and Viacom. It's like, DirecTV has, it wants to keep the money the same, but Viacom wants even more money. It's like, I'm tired of the companies like Nintendo and Viacom wanting more money. Like, just for, just for simple stuff. It's like this greediness is really pissing me off. It really is. Well, gotta make bank. Gotta get that cash. Don't they already make... Gotta like, screw over customers. Don't they make like billions of dollars in the, anyway? It's like, really? I don't really think they need any more money. Yes, but they're currently making a certain amount, they could be making slightly more, so, you know. <laughs> Screw customers. 
I guess. Yeah, screw customers. That's that's one thing that's sad about the whole affair. It's like it's like with the Viacom Direct TV thing that's going around. You know, where Viacom had Direct TV remove uh, twenty some odd channels uh, from their lineup. It's like Viacom and Direct TV are going at it, each other. Viacom is punishing Direct TV by removing channels, and the people who are suffering the most are the customers because like they have nothing to do with this. It's like they don't want to pay money, you know. They they want to. They have no problem paying the bill they have, you know. It, it's like they're suffering so much. It's like they're getting punished for nothing, you know. Removing the channels doesn't punish Directv; it punishes the customers. You know, they lose ratings from that, and guess what? They lose viewers, and they lose money from that. It's like I, I it's stupid. You know, it's like, in with the case with this, people want to see a Mario Brothers cameo. Like, not just Bowser, they want to see a Mario Brothers cameo. But because Nintendo doesn't want, wants more money, people aren't getting that, you know? And it sucks. Yeah, I'm not quite sure their reasoning behind that, because surely anything that gets Mario out there, especially in a big budget movie, is helpful to them in the long run, but whatever. Yeah, I mean... It's it just really the Sega does when Nintendo don't line really applies to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Sega's supporting this movie like full force. It would seem. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, Sega did announce that Son Boom that Wreck It Ralph, the main man himself, is going to be in All Stars Racing Transformed as a playable character. See how was that for a segue? Which that I was professional right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> slow claps for the win, but uh, yeah. Oh, good, that still works. Yeah, it, I think people were sho more shocked at uh, Wreck It Ralph being in the game than uh, Knights in the Real. Because <laughs> like, it was kind of out of the blue. Yeah. Also, pretty cool. So. <laughs> Damn Hedge says, Sega, we make jokes about our failures, Nintendo. I want to drop the bomb and get money. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about Sega. You know, they make they make fun of their failures, you know. They make fun of themselves. Nintendo kind of doesn't, you know. Because <laughs> it's Nintendo. But, uh, yeah. Also, having Racket Ralph in All-Stars Racing makes a lot more sense than Banjo-Kazooie or... Danica Patrick. That other person they added, I can't remember the name of. <laughs> Danica Patrick, you know, that woman no one really wants and likes. Yeah, yes. Also, it makes more sense than Solid Snake in Super Smash Bros., but whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like All Stars Racing Transformed is going to be great. It's just the only problem is Danica Patrick. It's like, that's the only problem I'm going to have with the game. It's like, she's going to be shoved down my throat in the game, and I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. I hope all the all the uh, CPUs just end up picking her all the time. That's the only race that they'll play. So even when yeah. you don't play as a uh, forced advertising. Yeah, I'm going to be really, really <laughs> screwed. It's bad enough. I'm going to be absolutely defeated by various people in the game, but now I'm going to be defeated by the holy that is Danica Patrick through the entire game. What the hell? Uh, it's like a lose-lose situation here. You know everyone who plays you is just gonna play as her now, right? God damn it. <laughs> and now I'm even more screwed. Great, now I'm screwing my own self up. <laughs> this is not my day. Wow. Okay then. Uh, but yeah, when I first heard the news that you know about Ralph being in the game, it's like I was indifferent to it. It's like I didn't know what to make of it. It's like I wanted, you know, I felt like it was good, but I felt like it wasn't because like it felt awkward being, having such an outcast character in the game. But then I like after some thoughts, like you know what, 
Sagan does need this promotion, and if this is the means they have in regards to promoting it, I guess it's no trouble. You know, the only problem for me is, how much is Sagan going to promote Ralph other than a playable character entry? It's like, with Danica Patrick there, she's going to have her own freaking car and races, she's going to be the announcer, she's going to be a playable character, with Ralph, she's, he's going to be dragging his ass through the entire game as a character, that's it. <laughs> You see, the thing with Ralph is, as well, like, the whole premise of the movie is that he jumps around video games, so it makes complete sense that he'd actually be in a video game. It's kind of cute that way, actually. So Yeah. It's fitting. I can't really find a problem with it. I like it. Yeah, it's just, I think it just came out of the blue as much as it did. It's like, it, Danica Patrick alone was out of the blue, but Wreck-It Ralph was even more out of blue. So, like, Sega, what are you doing? It's like... You're pulling a lot of sudden surprises with this game more than I don't think I don't think people have been really getting this surprised at a game since generations. Yeah, it's up and down and all, all around, mate. Up and down and all around. Brown, 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 brown. Uh, I completely <laughs> fucked up that jingle. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for round two of SSF fucks up songs. Yay! All right. Uh. Yeah, I really, I I'm, I'm I'm that's what I agree with. Damn Hedge, I think that's the reason why it's called Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, and not Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transformed, because well, not everyone Sega or Sonic, so. And also, it would be really awkward to fit on a box. Yeah. The uh, title would have a really really huge boner. So. uh... Um, yeah, I went there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Suddenly awkward silence, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Have you got a cricket soundbite? Just <laughs> play that. Edit that in. Oh, God. I, kind of, I should find a cricket sound effect, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah. I, uh... I really hope All Stars Racing Transform goes well, and you know, yeah. <laughs> well, Johnny, I am wholeheartedly glad. That's <laughs> I'm wholeheartedly glad that I uh, can make the stream even more awkward. <laughs> uh, you know, I like I like this. Just cut out like the 15 seconds of audio before <laughs> big huge boner. And just leave it as complete silence. Confuse the hell out of all your listeners. <laughs> oh god. Wow. What what have I done? And it doesn't help that someone was playing as big in uh someone was playing as big at least once in All Stars Racing earlier. <laughs> what the hell? I am never going to see All Stars Racing the same way again. Uh please stop you didn't win the race. Yeah, about that. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's hard to believe, but we're already halfway through the show. <laughs> like, it's already halfway done. Part of it, like, part of it is like uh, not really having us having much to talk about, and an even smaller part is mostly because I'm kind of in a hurry because, well. I'm exhausted as hell, so... But that's not really the urgent thing, because I'm not really that exhausted, so... But, yeah. Mega Man and Sonic are going to be in special crossover comic book saga. I've, I've heard of this. What, what, what's your opinion on this? I'm, I haven't heard anyone else's opinion on this so far, so I'm curious. I am really intrigued. Like, this... I don't think Sonic has really been in any full-blown crossover like this, ever. <laughs> I think he crossed over with Sabrina the Teenage Witch or something. Well, apparently Sonic has crossed over with NASCAR and Wreck-It Ralph, so... <laughs> so, yeah, but this is, in this case, with the comic book saga crossover, yeah, this is actually a good crossover. Uh, ex excluding Ralph, of course, that's not... That's not a bad crossover at all, but 
Danica Patrick getting in my head. Let's just get out. See, I think it's like kind of completely out of the blue and doesn't make any sense. But the Mega Man comic is actually pretty good, so yeah, I actually have some hopes for it. I'm aside from being a Sonic fanboy, I'm a pretty big Mega Man fanboy, so. Yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens in that Mega Man and Sonic comic book adaptation. Like, apparently it's going to be going for like 11 issues. Of course it won't be happening until next year, but oh my god, I can only imagine like what the interaction is going to be, uh, what the gaming action is going to be, them fighting each other's villains, you know, oh my god, the potential is just... It's, it's kind of like that anticipation people had with Generations before we knew a whole lot. It's like, oh my god, there's so there's so much potential with this. <laughs> I think they're splitting it up for, into three, four-issue arcs over separate books or something, aren't they? I don't know. All I know is that there's only th- like 11 issues, I think. Like 11 parts. But, uh, dear lord, damn hedge, no, don't bring fanfics into this. No. Oh god. <laughs> No. They already exist. You know they do. That's what I'm afraid of. I didn't want to be reminded of that. <laughs> I did not want to be reminded of the Mega Man and Sonic fanfics. No. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm sorry that some of my chat room has been brought over here now because they will relentlessly look for this stuff. <laughs> Why? They're already looking into it? No. <laughs> I'm already putting up with that bad fanfic reading session that some of the SP guys did yesterday that I was involved in for about a third of it. What? I have to see this. It was... like it. it was, the audio was recorded, and I believe there's going to be some... Eventually it'll go up somewhere, so I'll be sure to link it to everyone once it does. <laughs> I'll be sure to retweet it seven times in a row. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't really say much in it, but everyone else really, really... They were laughing their asses off. Um, <laughs> they were so bad. Damn, Hedge, I hate you. <laughs> I will... I, I... Now Proto Man and Knuckles need to make out. <laughs> oh, God, no. I will say this much in the session, the fanfic, bad fanfic session the SP guys did yesterday... Among the things that was talked about, one of the things that was read in one of the fanfics was chicken emeralds. Don't ask. Uh, okay. <laughs> chicken emeralds, yeah. Um, but yeah, apparently uh, the Tokyo to- Joyopolis uh, place reopened <laughs> recently. And what the hell's going on in the chat? Uh, <laughs> There's a fanfiction in which Big the Cat <laughs> is Kamina from Kurin Lagan? What the hell? Okay, I'm I'm gonna have to stop reading the chat. This. Uh. Oh my god, why? Fan fiction has started. There's no coming back from this. What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, speaking of uh, Japan, uh, <laughs> I don't see how that has anything to do with fanfic, but let's just interpret it as such, just so we can have an excuse to move on. Uh, <laughs> Tokyo Joyopolis uh, reopened with, uh, apparently, uh, they advertised it. <laughs> apparently, they advertised, uh, they're advertising and promoting Sonic as part of it, and Sonic's being a chili dog spokesperson. Man. What? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> Why? I, I guess because it's the thing uh, Sega has a lot of rides there and Sonic of course is the main attraction so they figured oh hey let's just have Sonic no actually what it is is Sonic's promoting the food that's at Joyopolis and among the food that's going to be there is chili dogs so Sonic's promoting the chili dogs okay fair enough it works in a roundabout way I suppose you know what? I dare, I dare you guys to uh, eat chili dogs during the marathon at least once. Oh, last year we uh, had chili dogs. Uh, we mixed chili dogs with the cinnamon challenge. Oh, that I th- I recall. Vague, I think I vaguely recall the cinnamon challenge. I th- 
think wasn't that during Sonic Shuffle? Cinedogs. Uh, wasn't that during a Sonic Shuffle? Uh, it, yeah, it was several times throughout the marathon. Uh, I, th I think I recall it being at Sonic during Sonic Shuffle at one point. Um, I, I think that was like a few days into the marathon. Like I'm, I'm va I vaguely recall you guys really playing uh, Shuffle for a while. So that's the best Sonic game of all time, apart from Sonic Jam. Oh yeah, this is happening. Uh, <laughs> It's not like Tails to just crash like that. Look out, you're gonna crash. Ah. <laughs> it sounds... So I decided to use it to power my plane. Supercharged! <laughs> I can Whoa. do this all day. Okay, that's Emerald. <laughs> oh, and then we start quoting Sonic Adventure for the next, oh, I don't know, 10 hours. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Um. Oh no. Um. No way. I can't believe this. Uh. We really need to stop this. <laughs> this is horrendous. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Blue Bullberry, are you talking about the SP Minecraft server? Uh. Just ask one of the uh, admins there. Like, leave it. Just to leave a uh, thread, like a reply in the thread, if you're a member there, in the forums. If you just, yeah. Uh, if you're a member on the SP forums, which is free to sign up, uh, just leave a reply there and uh, someone will add you to the whitelist. Just make sure you just... I would honestly just do a little bit of like a backstory on uh, who you are and like just say you're from the stream and from Point Respawn or something like that. Or Respawn Point. Why do I always get to the list? List your favorite fan fiction. Yeah, that. Uh, and they'll know exactly, you know, they'll know you're fine because... One, they're being like when it comes to the Minecraft server, everyone's being really, really paranoid, uh, which is for good reason because of all the uh, stuff that's been going on, you know, hacking and all that in the server in the last uh, few months. So, gotta be very uh, leery about who we let in and who we don't. So, but anyway, the Sonic Adventure DX MP3. You uh, don't, you don't want to see it. <laughs> And even if I did, I don't think we have the ability to play it right now anyway, because I have too much stuff up. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, hey guys, guess what toy you'll be able to get for Christmas? Mommy, I really want something Sonic-like for Christmas. Okay, son, here you go. It's Sonic, it's a Hello Kitty branded Sonic plushie. Oh man, I saw, I saw this too. What the? What? The what is? Who thinks of this stuff? I don't know. <laughs> There's a Sonic branded Hello Kitty plushie that has been announced. God knows why. God knows why. Johnny thought it was cute. I, I thought it kind of scared me a bit. They've done Street Fighter Hello Kitty plushies. What? <laughs> no, we, if we streamed Hello Kitty Sonic plushies, this world would end. Uh, then again, it is 2012. It's like, oh, the world's ending now. Uh, yeah, screw that. I don't believe that stuff, but, uh,. Yeah, I, I'm i sure you guys will love the plushies. I mean, they are kind of cute. Um, <laughs> I still don't know why they're being made, but I guess they are kind of cute. Uh, <laughs> I guess, if you're blind. I guess. Um, <laughs> Hello, I'm Scary, a cat. I'm here on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, uh... Apparently, Crush Forty is doing a live CD in the works. I don't know if it's going to be for Summer Sonic. It's going to be for their Tokyo performances, or Sonic Boom. Who knows? But apparently, Crush Forty is doing a live CD. Uh, they're working on one. I also I know 
I'm aware now that the uh, three, um, what was it, the uh, three singles that Crush 40 had in the works, oh, uh, one of those days, Rise Again, no, it wasn't Rise Again, I don't, was it Rise Again? Uh, one of those days, Rise Again and Sonic Youth. Yeah, those. Uh, I'm th I thought Rise Again was the, the other one, like, uh, that charity one they did. Uh, no. I'm thinking of a different title. I can't thing. remember the name of that one, but... Yeah. I'm th Rise Again's, like, the makeshift title of the EP and one of the songs. Yeah, they are all awesome. They they really are. Yeah, okay, it was Sonic Hope. Uh, Sonic Hope. Uh, I keep saying Sonic. <laughs> Song of Hope. <laughs> you got there eventually. Yeah. I, I will get there eventually, you know. The, the, the door was knocking, eventually someone answered. Uh, <laughs> and he said, hey, dude, you say Song of Hope. Not Sonic of Hope. We do have hope for Sonic, but that's not what we're meaning by the hope. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, um... It's hard to believe, but we're already at the last topic for the show. Uh, Fantasy Star Online oh. 2. Uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. That has been confirmed for North American and European release. Oh, oh, oh. You say the best to last then. Fantasy Star Online, I could I could speak for years on that game. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry to break the news to you. Yeah. F <sighs> Fantasy Star Online 2 has been confirmed for North American and European release in 2013. Nevertheless, but... Hey. I'm not sure what's taking them so long, really, but I guess localization takes longer than I expect of it. Yeah, it, it's... I I guess the longer the take on it, the better it'll be. I hope, I mean... We don't want a case of a certain game with a hedgehog kissing a girl, and turns out that, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Fancy Star Online 2 is going to turn out to be that kind of game. Yeah, I really hope not. See, the problem I have with them announcing this is it's so far away that I kind of want to play the Japanese version, but I don't want to le leave my character on the Japanese servers, so... Yeah, it's pretty crazy, uh... Which speaking of that one game, I do believe one thing I didn't ha I did get since last year is I have all the Sonic DLC now, so <laughs> not that it mattered, but hey, random note for the win. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there really isn't anything else to talk about. We've gone through all the topics. I think this is probably the shortest show I've done in a while, but. Like I said, it's only a few things. Part one being exhaustion, part two being not really much to, you know, elaborate on, and part three because, well, I've had a long day. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you guys ever heard of Sonic Jam? Yeah, I, I actually do have that game. You do? Yeah. I, I think I, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have that game. I do believe um, I have the, a Japanese uh, memory card, if it's even a card, for uh, the Saturn. Um, I actually did beat all the missions in Sonic Jam before I decided, hey, it's not going to save. Uh, <laughs> but I did beat all the missions in the, uh, the Sonic World thing, so... Ah, uh, uh, I, I always played uh, Sonic's World expecting there to be some level 2 or something, and Tails was always flying around in circles mocking me. Yeah. <sighs> oh man, Sonic, Sonic Jam, really, I enjoyed all the commercials and the uh, music. You know what, I really, Sonic Jam is exactly how a Sonic game collection should be, With, but the only thing is I wish they added more Sonic games in the in the variety, but I, I totally understand why, because the game did come out really early, like, it was only five It was years. a really early collection. Yeah. I I even enjoyed the timeline, like, they even mentioned that Sonic was in the Macy's Parade, you know? Um, the they timeline. added Spin Dash to Sonic 1! 
Oh my god. Like, who does that? Smart people. Who make Sonic Jam, apparently. Yeah. I, I, I can't get over, like, the commercials. Like, I wish they added more of the ja like... I wish they added more of the commercials. Like, not just Japan and the U.S., but the U.K., too. Yeah, some of those <laughs> commercials were pretty ridiculous. Funk A action. <laughs> Sonic Spinball. Which reminds me, Spinball, uh... I really need to, uh... I can only imagine if I can beat that within a... Uh, do a perfect run of that again, because I actually did manage to stream myself uh, beating that without losing a single life. What?! No, you didn't! You're a liar! I did, and it's... That game is impossible, no one can get past the first level, inside source is confirmed. No, I, I... I have been able to beat Spinball without losing a single life and I have actually recorded myself and it's on YouTube on my YouTube I channel appreciate your lies it's on YouTube I swear to God it's on there I have proof people were there watching it I have proof I have to go find the link which shouldn't take me too too long but I did actually beat spinball Damn yeah fun. I'm sure you did, right, yeah, yeah. I think you're really tired, mate. <laughs> no, I actually did beat Spinball. I actually did beat Spinball without losing a life. I was there. Yeah, and I have a unicorn just outside. A unicorn? <laughs> really? Let, let me find the link. It's... Sonic Jam. I have to find the video. I know it's here. Um, Where was it? It was the Sonic... Okay, it was in the second half of the party, I believe. Yeah. I, I can see Spinball right there in the uh, screenshots. Let me make sure it was... At part one, didn't have any of it either. Just to ensure. You know, playing a ROM-hacked version of Spinball doesn't count, my friend. Well, that's because I don't have... I could go play Spinball... On a, I do have it on GameCube, on Genesis. Um, you just chose to play the ROM hacked version that is unlosable. I see how it is. No, I actually played the legit ROM. Like, I I am physically like unable to. Uh, I plan on getting a capture card possibly this week. That's the only reason why I haven't really been able to play Spinball on a a console. But otherwise, I have been able to... I, I was even able to get far, as, even with the uh, console version. Like, as a kid, I'd get up to the final uh, level. Yeah, you managed to get past the start menu. <laughs> that game is impossible, and I don't buy any of this. You're a bad liar. <laughs> I have been able to do it. I swear to God, I have. I just now gave the link. Like, it it's, doesn't start at the very, very beginning, I don't think. But I know beyond a shadow of a doubt... Like, the only thing I really did wrong in that was that, uh, uh, I didn't beat the second, like, special stage, bonus stage thing. <laughs> the link is not false, I swear to God. I'm blind, so I can't... I don't know what YouTube is. <laughs> I will convince you guys the not way... Not proof here. I at will... all. I will convince you guys the way the SSF soon. I will do it. I will see to it that it happens. <laughs> Respawn Point as a whole refute you. <laughs> Jade's got my back here. You're a bad liar. I'm not lying. I really did beat Spinball <laughs> With no, without losing a life. And I'm the Pope. Look, Johnny believes me, come on. <laughs> yeah, but Johnny would believe you have a moon base or something. <laughs> Johnny's not very smart. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Who's a terrorist? Uh, how is <laughs> <how's> that? <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> uh, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is what your lying about Spinball gets you, my friend. Wow. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> Probably what? for the best. What in the hell? <laughs> what? But, uh... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> hey, I told you that getting me on your podcast would be the worst thing you've ever done. <laughs> it, it's not the worst thing. Like, I'm really surprised we went through, we've gone through the show as quickly as we did. Like, you know, I, I'm really amazed. We're all like, honestly, we're done with the show. Like, that's the show. You know, and it, it's only been an hour. Like, usually it will go for two hours, but uh. <laughs> That's just what happens when you don't have much to talk about. So, uh... Yeah. I guess, uh... Thanks for watching, guys. Uh... <laughs> like, there really isn't anything to talk about. Like, legitly nothing to talk about. Uh... Zach, do you want to promote Respawn Point and anything? Um... There's this thing called Respawn Point, and we do a Sonic Marathon. You should www.sonicmarathon.com If for some reason you could stand me on this podcast then <laughs> December 28th you can get seven days of me, I guess. <laughs> sometimes I play Sonic games for fun over at respawn-point.com and sometimes I make YouTube videos but not very often. <laughs> Sonic Jam is the best game of all time. One of these day, once I can get like once I get the capture card and I'm able to stream like Saturn, I will definitely make sure that uh, Sonic Jam is one of them. I know it has Sonic Jam, Sonic 3D Blast, and what's the other one? I think those are the only two like Saturn games I have actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys, like, next week for another Sonic News show. I, uh, don't know exactly who's gonna be on the show right now, uh, but I do have a good, good idea. I think it's time that I look up a certain, uh, well, you guys will find out on Twitter. Uh, for now, I, if I don't see, uh, you guys next week, you know, for Sonic Show Live with, a uh, uh, Son Sonic Show Live. Well, yeah, you guys will see me there, but I mean, Sunday Sonic Live. Um, I'd imagine... I'd imagine that, um... You guys will more likely see me... You know, Respawn Point, guys. I imagine you guys will actually see me on, uh... Re at Respawn Point when the Sonic Marathon takes place. If not then, probably even earlier than that, depending on what, uh... Zach streams, so. We should get you on our podcast that we hardly ever do. <laughs> yeah... And then I continue to talk about how I'm good at spinball even more, yay. No. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm all for like, you know, like I said, one thing that has essentially become established, it seems, uh, after last year is that I'm the, the uh, multiplayer guy, since I have pretty much every freaking game in the world, and internet for all of it. Sonic Shuffle Netplay. Oh god, is, there e is that even possible? Probably not, but a man can dream. Because I do have Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> like I said, I have every Sonic game except... Uh, like, I have every single... like Every single Sonic game except Sonic Pocket Adventure. That's the only... Oh god, Sonic R net play. I have that too. That's the, that's the game on the Saturday with I forgot. That's what it was. I knew I forgot something. Um, Sonic Shuffle is a good game. Honestly, I would consider it better than Mario Party games. Seriously. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Jay just banned Johnny and Twitch. Johnny feels like a new man. <laughs> Dear Diary, 
You will never believe what happened to me today. Wait, today... I was on someone else's podcast on someone else's stream, and it still ended up in someone getting banned from my chat room on my <laughs> stream. What? What? <laughs> Irony? What? Irony? <laughs> that is the biggest irony I've ever seen. At least in a good while. <laughs> oh, I don't God. want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Donnie, make Jay a mod here and he can ban me again. <laughs> Excuse me while I go ban him from TeamSpeak as well. <laughs> wow. I like. I think I am in the team speech uh, rooms. <laughs> so it's almost like Jay semi banned you, despite the fact that you're not actually in team speak. He banned you in your thoughts. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what in the world are you two going at right now? <laughs> uh, I don't. Is this is about Mario, right? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Super Mario is sixty-nine. Oh God, sixty-nine! Really? Super Mario sixty-nine? No. No. No, just no. <laughs> rated rated R. I didn't mean it like that. It was the first number that jumped to mind. That was the last number that should have come to mind. <laughs> Why? It's just it's just as good as any other number. I'm not even gonna elaborate. Just because you may relate it to some bad act doesn't mean everyone does, or that it should be forever established as a bad number. Oh god. You can't get to 70 without 69. Oh jeez. That sounded so wrong. But yeah, with a gooey please meme, like, that's really been going crazy lately. Where the where the hell did the whole Gooby uh, Gooby Please thing? I don't even know what that means. Uh, Goofy, like it's it's making fun of Goofy, like Gooby Please. Uh, oh. I don't know. Like, how did that? How in the hell did that start? It's like I think I know, but if it is, and I'm gonna be really really surprised at that. Gooby, please. Dolan, please. Uh, please. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I am really surprised at how short the show is. Really? That's where it originated from? Oh, that's not where I thought it was originating from. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Dolan, Gooby, Morky. Morky, I did not know. Dolan and Gooby, I did. But, uh... But, uh... Yeah. I may as well, uh... End the show here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, Goodbye, everyone. Night. It was an hour-long podcast, but hey. Hopefully you tune in to Respawn Point and Sonic Marathon. I'm sure this was a very, very good uh, advising note that, uh, hey, they're doing a uh, marathon later this year. Uh, this thing was happening. Yeah, th this thing is happening. It's for a good week. Everyone's going to be really, really, really tired after it finishes. Uh, speaking of tiredness, I am going to be tired myself. Uh, <laughs> and also, I should note that if you do wish to follow the latest news on the Sonic News Show and... Sonic Paradox and among other things feel free to follow SSF1991 on Twitter um, if you don't already do so if you do yay 
If you don't, I'll cry. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm. What if someone unfollows? Then I'll cry even more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I do appreciate Zach, Zach, uh, Zach for being here for the show today. I know I'm not with it today. Uh, Zach for being here for the show and. The entire posse of respawn point for being here with them. <laughs> oh my god. When I know one thing for sure. This is definitely a chat room, probably the most mature chat room I've seen in a while. Uh was that sarcasm? No. Not at all. It wasn't. Oh, and Flash Twister's here. It's uh, it's SSF streaming, but not for very much longer. I'm literally ending my stream right now. Um, like I said, I will thank you. I thank you guys for joining in. I hope to see you guys next week at the same time, 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UK time, for the next edition of the Sonic News Show. Uh, I have a very, very good idea as to who, uh, I will have as guests. I should emphasize that guests. Um, I just have to find out if they're willing to do so next week. And if not, I'm going to have a problem. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. For now, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will see all of you next week. Good night, everyone. <laughs>